welcome back to Megan's Kitchen. What is today? Pinch, 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 pinch. If you're not wearing green, you better watch out because it's my favorite day. So today is my St. Patty's Day and I'm going to do a rendition on green eggs and ham. And I'm calling this Greens Egg and Ham. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using uh, spinach. This spinach came from George at Synergy Seeds in Willow Creek. And I'm going to be using some kale. This kale is a uh, white Russian kale from Grady at Greenfire Farms. I'm going to be using the ham that we get from commodities uh, from the Hoopa Food Distribution. I'm going to use a little bit of chia seed to boost a little bit of extra nutrients that we want. Chia seeds are full of omega-3s, antioxidants, minerals, and fiber, so it adds that extra boost of energy that we need. And then I'm going to top it with some avocado. Um, I'm going to wrap it in a whole wheat tortilla, and it's going to be my breakfast this morning. So happy St. Patty's Day. And so what I want to do is I'm going to start up my frying pan over here, and I'm going to cut up my ham first. And then I want to um, fry up my ham and my greens together so they'll marry the flavors well together. Now we all know about kale is full of uh, vitamins and minerals such as vitamin C, calcium, vitamin D, and different nutrients that we need. But also spinach is related to kale and um, it also contains a lot of vitamin C and proteins and omega-3. So we're going to boost up our breakfast this morning. So I got my ham chopped up and kind of cubed up. I'm going to add it to my frying pan over here. And I'm going to take my kale. I'm only going to take one stock of kale because this is just my breakfast. But if you're making for more, you can take more. I'm going to just take the bottom stock off. Just chop it up. Now, uh, you can make your kale as fine shredded or as thick shredded as you want, depending on your taste or how you like to do things. I kind of like a thick shredded kale because I'm really used to it by now. So I just kind of chop it up kind of like that. So I'm going to put that in my skillet and then I'm going to take my spinach. I'm only going to take two leaves of it because um, I'm just going to add it to my breakfast. Now um, I using, I'm using my eggs that I got for my chickens. So if you have chickens and poultry or if you're uh, interested in and growing and raising your own chickens, uh, they start heavy laying right now. I only got one egg because I fed my husband the other eggs, but we get about five eggs a day and we have about 15 chickens. So I'm going to add four eggs to this. My kids, they told me that at school that the um, cafeteria lady made green eggs and ham before and they said it was really gross. And so I told them, well, maybe they should make some greens eggs and ham. And they just laughed at me. I'm just going to add a spoonful of chia seed. Now chia seeds, if you're out there and you're trying to lose weight and you're um, out there on the diet kick and you're shaking it up or you're protein shaking it, add some chia seed to your shake because what it does is it gels up and it makes like a kind of like a slimy consistency but what it's doing is it's expanding in your stomach and it will make you feel fuller so like if you're trying to um feel fuller and trying to diet trying to lose weight just add some chia seeds to like your water your shakes and it's really good and it's a boost of antioxidants and fibers and different proteins and omega-3s that you need it's a superfood so i'm over here and my skillet it's frying up, and I'm just going to mix around my mixed greens. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, just some regular old pepper to it. I'm going to turn my other skillet on because I'm going to uh, uh, warm up my tortilla. So I'm just going to wait till everything's kind of cooked together really well. My hand was frozen, so I just, I'm trying to unfroze it right now. As you can see, everything's starting to cook. It's steaming up good. And every and the vegetables are, are the greens are melting. Are not melting, but 
wilting. Sorry for the terminology out there. I hope you guys are all wearing your green today because if I see you on the streets, I'm sure going to pinch you and if you're not. So I'm adding my eggs to it and I'm just going to scramble it all around together. Just like you normally scramble your green eggs in half. Get myself a plate. Got my whole wheat tortilla and I'm going to start warming it on my burner. Now if you're not a multitasker, what I recommend that you do is that you cook your eggs first because you don't want to burn them and then do your tortilla. But if you're more of a cook that's been cooking for a long time, you could do both at one time. I always would recommend like if I'm letting my child cook, my daughter especially since she's only 12, I don't allow her to do more than one thing at a time because I don't want her to overwhelm herself and burn something and burn herself, cut herself, anything like that. This whole wheat tortilla, um, I picked these up at the local supermarket and you can see they're just the whole wheat. I can't pronounce the name, but maybe you guys out there can. So I got my tortilla nice and browned. Put it on my plate. Finish up my eggs. Now, if you're out there and you got wrestlers, what I, you know, in the morning, what's good is throw, throw together some breakfast burritos like this. You know, you're packing your wrestlers with that uh, protein and uh, different vitamins and minerals that they need, especially if they're getting ready to wrestle. And then you can have it and wrap up the tortilla and have a little to go um, food for the morning on Saturday mornings because I have three wrestlers and I know exactly how that goes. So I got it all scrambled up. I'm gonna add it to my tortilla over here. Sorry. I'm gonna add it into my tortilla. I'm gonna to top it with my avocado. Mmm, it looks delicious. I'm gonna add a little bit of shredded cheese. And voila, green eggs and ham on a whole wheat tortilla. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. I'd like to thank the programs and the people that make this possible. First, I'd like to thank the farmers for their beautiful produce. Again, this is Kale from Green Fire Farms here in Hoopa. And this is spinach from Georgia at Synergy Seeds. Uh, you can find him on his website at synergyseeds.com. Um, I'd also like to thank Hoopa Food Distribution for a lot of their, their uh, commodities that they give out to the local people. Uh, they help make this happen. The Hoopa Valley Tribe. I'd like to thank the Clam Trinity Resource Conservation District, Veggie Club, and all you viewers out there that make this possible. Talk to you later. Bye.